What is bagging? That stands for boosted aggregation, and that is not as intimidating as it sounds. It also isn't only for trees. Let's look at it for trees. The length of my data set is the number of instances, the width is the features. What bagging does is, instead of trying to swallow the entire data set in one go, it at random takes some instances. It makes a tree with those, it stores the tree. Then it puts back those instances, and it at random takes some other ones. So it is sampling with replacement and fitting a tree every time, remembering all the trees, and then at the end, it lets all the trees vote to give you an answer. So this one says she like it, this one says she like it, this one says she won't. Now, this has some fairly nice properties. Under certain circumstances, it actually has better performance than not doing it. But even if it didn't have a better performance, a very compelling reason for this is that you might not want to swallow your data all at once. You can parallelize all that and handle little bits of your data all separately, fit all those trees separately, and maybe that's just a lot faster. And since the performance may even be better, that's some of the black magic behind this boosted aggregation stuff, it's worth trying. 